Hi, Mrs. Imperio's Cheerios. We are going to work on our leaf coloring page. And you just need five colors. We need yellow, orange, orange. <laughs> red. red. I have a, a pair in the background. Brown. And black. And if you have crayons, that would be the very best thing to use. If you don't have crayons, you can make color pencils work. It's just going to take you a lot, lot longer to do. And the blending doesn't go quite as easily. All right. The first thing we're going to start with is the lightest color which is yellow. I don't know if this is, there we go. When we do blending, it's usually best to start with the lightest color first, so you can see it. And we're going to color over the lines that are in the inside of the leaf, not the outside lines, but the inside lines. And we're not tracing it like that. We're coloring over it a whole lot, like all the way around it. And the great thing about when I do coloring videos is that if you're ever needing a little extra time to go do something, like go to the bathroom, or you need more time to finish what you're doing, you can always pause it so you don't get behind. So we're not filling the whole leaf with yellow, but wherever the lines are, we're going to color over those lines and add more around it like this. Okay. So our next color, next lightest color would be Now we're going to take the orange and we're going to color over the edge of the yellow so it blends over part of the yellow. We don't want to color all, cover over all the yellow, just some on the edge of where we colored yellow. And we're not going to completely go to the edge of our leaf. We're just going to color around wherever we colored yellow. We color a little orange on top of the sides of the yellow area. And I'm filling in between here. We were talking yesterday with the kids who did make it yesterday afternoon about how pretty fall leaves are. And they had collected quite a few and they had fun showing them. There were so many different colors and shapes and sizes. God made lots of different leaves. And I was telling them how I think it's really nice. God didn't have to do this, but he made fall beautiful. The leaves that fall off the trees in the fall season are actually dying. They fall off. They're separated from the tree 
The tree is where they get their life source, their food and nutrients and water and everything that keep the leaves alive as long as they're attached to the tree. But then they fall off because winter's coming and they die. But the whole thing is such a beautiful process because they turn all these different colors when they fall and they're fun. You can rake them up, jump in the piles. All right, if you need a moment to finish, you can pause it and finish. The next step, we're going to need red. Now you can see I have kind of a little bit of white left near the edge of the entire leaf. So this time, instead of starting on the orange, I'm going to start on the edge. We're going to start from the very edge fill in whatever white spots are left and then we can color over part of the orange a little bit like this. And that's when like all the magic happens and comes together with blending. it pretty. The red blends over the orange a little, the orange blends over the yellow a little. Kind of makes like a fiery color. Right, so <laughs> some of the kids didn't know that and they said the leaves die. I said, yeah, the leaves die because winter's coming and they won't survive the really cold winter. But the tree goes, grows back new leaves in the springtime, which is also a pretty process. And then we talked about how plants and flowers, what happens when you pick a flower, it doesn't stay alive, does it? Because once again, it's not connected to the plant anymore. And then Kenzie said, but can't you dig up a plant and move it to another place? And I said, you know what? You're right. You can. That's called transplanting. But when you do that, you can actually dig up a whole plant or flower plant. But you have to be careful not to cut the roots and get all the roots out and then you can plant it in another place as long as it continues to get what it needs to grow it can grow somewhere else and we talked about what plants need to stay alive and we were talking about it needs water and most plants need sunshine and the soil there's nutrients in the soil that it needs to help it grow so that was our scientific thought and part of our leaves. If you were able to get leaves, pick up some leaves, you could make more leaf pictures. You could take a leaf and trace it on a piece of paper and then do something like this. It doesn't always have to be yellow, orange, and red. You could do some blending with yellow and a couple different greens or yellow, orange, and green. Or you could try to match the leaf that you're tracing. Sometimes there's a little bit of a purplish, reddish color in the leaves that I think is really pretty. Alright, I'm going to color like half of the stem here red. I'm going to add a little red over this. And then I'm going to take my brown. We don't need brown for very much. Just this last part of the stem here. I'm going to color over a little bit of the red here to blend a little bit over the brown. There we go. 
And there's our fall leaf. We are going to trace the word leaf. I'm going to use I'm going to use red this time. Last time I used orange. But use either, I'd say red or orange. Or you could use brown or black. It's up to you. Yellow might be too light. We have an uppercase L. And remember we started talking about our handwriting letters. How we need to make them from the top to the bottom and not bottom up anymore so we wouldn't do lowercase a bottom up or this bottom up we got to go from the top down so we're going to start at the this is our roof line and trace from the roof down to the floor and then this is what we call a side stroke on the floor it's uppercase l then e can be confusing this little dot right here in the middle on the side is where we actually start. Maybe I'll color it in. <laughs> and we go sideways, call it a short side stroke. Then we follow the dots up and around, touch the ceiling, come around, touch the floor. Lowercase a, every time these dots look tricky. So this dot right here is where we're starting. Second one down. And we go up, touch the ceiling, curve around, touch the floor line, back up to the ceiling line, back down to the floor line. And then lowercase f, we start at the top, follow the dots, up and touch the roof, down to the floor. And then a short side stroke right on the ceiling line, left to right. And that spells leaf. Now if you want to add something fun to your picture, you can take your black crayon. And right in this space here, you can draw a circle like that. Color it in. And then on each side, draw four little legs. And then we can make a little squiggly line up to the leaf. And we have a cute little spider hanging from our leaf. And there we go. There's our fall leaf. I hope you had a fun time coloring. And remember, you can make more leaves on your own by tracing some leaves that you find outside and experiment with blending some of your colors in different ways. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Goodbye.